Welcome everyone to another video in the US VFR communication series and uh, this video we will cover transitions through different types of airspaces. Uh, we have a flight today from French Valley in Southern California with the destination being uh, uh, Santa Barbara and in this flight uh, uh, we're not gonna ask for flight following still because that's gonna be covered in a separate video but we're gonna practice transitions through airspaces so we've covered you know class Delta and class Charlie class Bravo departures on arrivals already but now we're gonna cover transitions. so we'll, what I'm gonna do is uh, take off from Fringe Valley heading west I wanna transition the class Charlie airspace for John Wayne after that we're gonna transition the Bravo airspace and I'm gonna talk about this in just a second and then followed by transitioning the Camarillo Delta uh, airspace and finally we're gonna land at Santa Barbara so this way we covered all different types of transitions class Charlie class Bravo and class Delta transitions right uh, class Charlie transition simply we're gonna call uh, approach the overlying controlling facility within 20 miles and here's the frequency on the sectional I'm going to ask him that we're going to request to transition the Charlie airspace for John Wayne westbound and we're going to give them our altitude. After that, uh, this is simply uh, that how you transition a Charlie airspace. It's pretty much like the arrival uh, procedure, but instead of the arrival, you're just going to ask for a transition. So I strongly advise you to go back to the Charlie arrival video uh, and review that, And uh, but we're going to cover it here again. Class Bravo transitions are a little bit trickier. Okay, You're going to have to look up in the TAC supplemental, uh, as you can see here, the specific Bravo uh, airspace that you want to transition. And you're going to find different transition for that airspace. For example, here's the Hollywood Park route. Uh, there's a special flight rules area, which is covered in a separate video that's already posted on my channel. Uh, there's the coastal route, uh, etc. So every airspace, Bravo airspace, is going to have published transitions that you can find in the TAC supplemental. The coastal route transitions you can see here, all the instructions are here. Simply they tell you uh, the available altitudes are 5,500, 6,500 uh, feet. Obviously westbound is even plus 500, eastbound is odds plus 500. So we're going to be transitioning uh, westbound, I mean to the northwest or northbound, and in that case our altitude most likely is going to be 6,500. And it just says here you need to be established on the Los Angeles radial 123 inbound, okay? One, two, three, inbound, meaning going this way, inbound into the LEX uh, VR, and then after that, uh, Los Angeles radial 323 three, outbound that way. Uh, in order to receive the Bravo clearance uh, to transition the airspace, you need to be established on the transitions. So we need to be established on that radial outside the Bravo airspace. Then we're going to call uh, approach, and here it tells you what the frequency to call. It says South Cala 127.2. We're going to tell them we'd like to request the Bravo transition north uh, coastal route northbound you have to say which transition you want and once you're established on the transition they're going to give you a squawk code and ask you to ident and then once you identify it they will clear you through the bravo airspace when you get closer simple as that and once you are uh, out of the bravo airspace they're going to say radar service is terminated they're going to ask you to squawk vfr again so this is how you transition a bravo airspace and finally to transition the camarillo delta airspace it's simply you call the controlling facility of the delta which is the tower i'm going to call them about 10 miles out i'm going to tell them we'd like to request uh, the class delta transition uh, northwest bound uh, obviously going to give them our position altitude etc in that case you're not going to get a discrete squawk code etc not like the charlie or the bravo they're just going to ask you uh, you know they're going to give you instructions how to transition they're going to ask you to stay uh, north of the airfield, south of the airfield, you just listen to the instructions and you just transition. Remember, for the class Charlie and for the class Delta, all you need to do is to establish two-way communication with the controlling facility. So with John Wayne Charlie, once South Cal Approach calls us by our call sign and they don't explicitly instruct us to stay out of the Charlie airspace, then in that case we just can't transition. Even, you know, by the time they give us the squawk code and we ident, etc., the fact that we're talking to them allows us to enter the airspace. The Bravo airspace is different ballgame, like we talked about before. You need to hear the magic words cleared into the Bravo airspace, otherwise you can't come in. Establishing two-way communication doesn't mean anything at all. You have to hear the magic words that you cleared through the Bravo into the Bravo airspace. The class Delta airspace, all you need to do establish two-way communication with the tower okay so we just talk to tower and once they call us back with our call sign and they don't specifically instruct us to stay out of the delta that means we can just go through simple as that all right so with, without further ado let's get started French Valley traffic uh, Bonanza Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha Juliet uh, the south hangars uh, taxiing to holding point runway 18 via taxiway Alpha French Valley 
in the back quick taxi light on French Valley traffic, uh, Bonanza tail off the top to that, lining up taking off runway 18, uh, VFR departure to the west, uh, French Valley. Port sector clear, right side clear. Seventy three rotate. Positive rate out of usable. Gear up. Hi right, folks, uh, we're going to now do our first transition. Uh, we are uh, about 20 miles east of John Wayne, the class uh, Charlie airspace, and it says here clearly to contact South Cala 124.1. So we're going to contact South Cala 124.1. That's on COM2. So we got to switch now to COM2. All right, we're ready with the pen papers to get our discrete squad code, and we tell them we want to transition the class Charlie westbound. South Cal approach. Uh, good afternoon, uh, Bonanza, Hotel Alpha, Delta Alpha, Juliet, VFR request. ADA two, so Calipers, go ahead. Uh, we're about uh, 18 miles east of John Wayne. I uh, would like to request uh, westbound transition through the Charlie at 2,500. Hotel after the top, Juliet. Squawk 2137, Ident. Squawk 2137 and Ident. Hotel after the top, Juliet. Seven seven, Mike, clear to rep Popsku. Join the uh, join the victory. And I didn't. That's it. And understand, clear, direct. Say the six again. Six Remember, we the, we established two-way communication. Six we can seven enter. Seven like Poxku and join Victor Eight. Clear, direct, Poxku, join Victor Eight. Seven seven Mike. HADAJ, radar contact one three miles east of John Wayne Airport. John Wayne altimeter three zero zero two. Say aircraft type and uh, what's your? Uh, do you have a destination in mind? Or are you just transitioning? Uh, the aircraft type is Bravo Tango uh, 36, uh, that's a Bonanza Turbo, and uh, altimeter 02, and just transitioning westbound. Hotel after the top, Juliet. JDAJ, Roger, maintain VFR at or, at or above 2,500 while inside surface area. 2,500 while inside the surface area. Hotel after the top, Juliet, thanks. That's it. So surface area is that inner part of John Wayne, this guy right here. So, again, just to maintain, this is the surface area. We'll maintain 2,500. And she gave us the altimeter at 02. We make sure now we change the altimeter to 02. We don't want to forget that. Here we go. Good afternoon. So, how's it, Mike? All right. Uh, it, actually, since the transition is coming up pretty quick afterwards, might as well to stay with South Cal approach. And uh, in that case, we're going to request the Bravo transition. I'm going to let her know right now. South Cal approach, uh, Bonanza, tail off, dead off, Juliet. Uh, we just changed our mind. We're thinking after uh, uh, transitioning the Charlie, we're going to climb 6,500 to set up for the coastal transition to the Los Angeles Bravo northbound, so we would like to stay with you. Roger, uh, change my frequency 128.1. Uh, 28.1, tail off, dead off, Juliet, we'll see ya. 128.1, comp 2. South Cal approach, Bonanza Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha Juliet, radio check, 128.1. AJ, AJ, SoCal, thank you, John Wayne Altimeter 3002, and report over Vincent St. Thomas Bridge, VFR 6500. Uh, we'll report over uh, Vincent St. Thomas uh, at 6500, Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha Juliet. South Cal approach, Bonanza Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha Juliet, approaching Vincent St. Thomas 6500, and approaching the Bravo. Clear through Los Angeles Bravo airspace to the coastal route main TV VFR 6500 while inside Bravo airspace. Contact SoCal approach 134.9er. We're clear to the Bravo airspace at uh, 6500 coastal transition and over to 34.9er. Good day. 377 Mike, you're two miles from J, sir. Okay, 134.9er. Clear to the Los Angeles approach. South Cal approach, Bonanza Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha Juliet, 6,500 on the coastal transition northbound. JJ, 
Zero three, you tell off the top of your head, thanks. Okay, that's it. We're now established on the coastal transition. On the radio. Just go a little bit to the right, just grab the radio. And this is how we do a proper transition. As published, she had us established uh, on the transition before we got our clearance. So we got established on the radial uh, exactly per that okay, 17, 12, radar, contact lost. the coastal route transition. We got established on the Los Angeles 123 radial inbound, this one, 6,500. And then she gave us the clearance into the Bravo via the coastal transition. Just simple as that. That is a Bravo transition. So we did a Charlie transition. Now we did a Bravo transition. After that, we're going to do a Delta transition. South Cal approach, Bonanza Hotel off Delta for Juliet. We're approaching a layer of clouds. I uh, think uh, we just need a little bit higher, maybe a thousand feet higher or so to maintain VFR. Delta for Juliet. Climb as approved for VFR. Climb as approved for VFR Hotel off Delta Thanks. All right. So let's go up a little bit higher. South Cal Approach, Bonanza Hotel Alpha, Delta Alpha, Juliet, to request to uh, terminate radar services. AJ, DAJ, leaving Bravo Rare Space, resume navigation. Radar services are terminated. Squawk VFR, frequency change approved. Squawk VFR, frequency change approved, and thank you for your help. Turn off Delta Alpha, Juliet. Okay, let's get ready now for the Delta transition, that is Camarillo, so we're going to call Camarillo Tower. Camarillo Tower, folks, is... Where's Camarillo Tower? Come on. Okay, Tower... 128.2. Oh my god, here's more. 128.2. 500. 128.2. Let's get the frequency ready. Camarilla Tower, uh, Bonanza Hotel Alpha, Delta Alpha, Juliet. Good afternoon. We're about uh, nine miles east of the airfield. Would like to request Delta transition northwest bound. Destination oh, Adis is one three. Tower. The altimeter three zero zero three, and uh, the class of transition approved. Zero three and transition approved, and we will be maintaining two thousand hotel off the top trade. There's the Camarillo uh, airfield. All right, folks, time to get ready now. We're gonna go to the coast and definitely fly low until we reach Santa Barbara to stay below those clouds. I'm gonna go down more. 1,500. And stay over the water. I'm towed Santa Barbara. PCH, I think that's Pacific Coast Highway. Quite scenic. And we'll stay here. Right, so the ATIS for Santa Barbara is 132.65. I'm gonna just switch then 132.65. Altimeter three zero zero two. Arriving and departing runways two five one five right one five left. Visual approaches in use. VFR departures contact clearance delivery. Advice on course heading, altitude, and if flight following is requested. Read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact. You have information. Bravo. Bravo. Santa Barbara Municipal Airport. ATIS information. Bravo. 2153 Zulu. Wind 240 at 11. Visibility 10. 3000 scattered. Temperature 18. 2.12. Altimeter 3002. Arriving and departing runways 25. 
Alright, so 125.4, we're ready with 125.4, and it's gonna tell us to squawk. Okay, so this is Class Charlie Arrival, folks, so like we said before in the Class Charlie Arrival video. 20 miles out, you call the controlling facility, which is approach, Santa Barbara approach here, it's on the sectional 25.4, giving you position, altitude, it is information, you have your intention, obviously it's full stop landing. They're gonna give you a squawk code, ask you to ident, or maybe they're just gonna give you a squawk code, not ask you to ident, I don't know, it depends, I mean, they just need to identify you somehow, and then, once you establish two-way communication, uh, they call you back, they call sign, and you have to explicitly ask to stay out of the Charlie airspace. Then you're good to go. You're safe in that way, and you can enter the Charlie airspace. Santa Barbara approach, uh, Bonanza till Alpha, Delta, Alpha, Juliet, to about uh, 18 miles uh, Timer has expired. east of the we'll airfield uh, for full stop with uh, Bravo. Hotel Alpha, Delta, Alpha, Juliet, Santa Barbara approach, squawk 2364. Two three six four to love to love it. That's it. We established two way communication. Two three six four. Two three six four. Back. Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha Julia Connect Santa Barbara Tower one hundred point seven. One hundred point seven to Alpha Delta Alpha Juliet. Yeah. Nine Sierra Yankee contact Victor Hill. Santa Barbara Tower, uh, Bonanza Hotel, Alpha Delta to Juliet. Uh, we're about nine miles uh, on 2 5 final. Full stop. Soft Delta Alpha Juliet, Santa Barbara Tower, make straight in runway 2 5, report 3 mile final. We'll make straight in uh, 2 5, we'll report 3 mile final, Hotel Alpha Delta Juliet. Santa Barbara Tower, Bonanza Hotel, Alpha Delta Alpha Juliet, 3 mile final, 2 5, full stop. Delta, Delta, Alpha, 3 Juliet, mile final, runway 1 2 5. 2 5, clear to land. 2 5, clear to land, Hotel Alpha Delta Alpha Juliet. Gonna go idle, and we try that down on the numbers. Next right. Approaching runway one five left. Three three right. Taxi parking via golf and remain the frequency. Taxi via golf remain the frequency five seven eight clear. Good day. Okay, flaps up, fuel pump off, landing light off, strobes off, heat to heat off. And we call now. Santa Barbara Tower, Bonanza Tower, Delta Alpha Juliet, clear of 25 on Bravo, request taxi to signature northeast. Delta Alpha Juliet, taxi signature via Bravo and Charlie, monitor ground, we'll see ya. Bravo Charlie to signature, monitor ground, Delta Alpha Juliet, we'll see ya. Okay, went to 1.7, so we switched that to 1 to 1.7. Here we go, we're monitoring ground. That's here, got instructions to monitor ground. Interesting, very good. That was a fun flight, folks. Hotel Alpha Delta Juliet arrived in Santa Barbara. So let's recap real quick how we did this flight. Uh, quite interesting. Just show you everything real quick. All right, so we took off from Fringe Valley. Let's go all the way to Fringe Valley. Here we go, we took off from Fringe Valley. And then we headed west. We contacted uh, South Cal Approach and 124.1 uh, requested to class Charlie transition westbound. We were given a squawk code. We established two-way communication with the Charlie. Uh, that means we can enter the Charlie. And they were given a squawk code and we were told to maintain minimum, I think, 2,500 or above in the surface uh, Charlie. Surface Charlie is the inner circle, folks. That's what it means. Transition westbound and instead of just squawking VFR and calling again South Cal for the Bravo, we just told Approach to st we want to stay with them and uh, we want to set up for the Bravo transition. She told us to report over uh, Vincent St. Thomas Bridge, right? Vincent St. Thomas Bridge uh, is here. Here's the flag. These are VFR rep uh, reporting points. And we were established on the radial. Uh, class Bravo transitions, like we said, you can find them in the Los Angeles, uh, for Los Angeles, for example, Los Angeles Tech Supplemental. If I close this, I'll show you quick. Like these are the visual chart supplementals that you can see uh, San Diego, Phoenix, Las Vegas, uh, etc. New Orleans, and, and so forth. All right, if you go uh, back, you can see some documents here. All these documents can be found easily uh, online on, for example, uh, uh, Sky Victor. Uh, okay, so instructions for the Bravo transition. We said there's several Bravo transitions uh, all published. As you can see, all you need to do is just follow the instructions of these Bravo transitions. You need to 
uh, get established on the transition outside of the Bravo airspace here and it's not two-way communication anymore you need to hear the, the magic course cleared into the Bravo airspace once we got established on the transition outside of the Bravo we were cleared into the Bravo airspace we're maintaining 6500 which it says here obviously 6500 is even plus 500 going westerly easterly is odds plus 500 is coming southbound will be 5500 so we're 6,500, we entered the Bravo airspace, then we encountered a, a horrible layer of clouds that we had to climb a little bit higher. I didn't say I want to descend because 5,500 is the opposite traffic, so I requested higher, and we were granted higher, no problem whatsoever. They're not going to have you die uh, and enter IMC, inadvertent IMC, and then you, you die. No, I mean, you just ask. Say, I'm going to climb, and they, they give me clearance. They said, you can climb in VFR. I climbed in VFR. That's it. Uh, once we were out of the Bravo airspace, uh, somewhere here and then what we did was we cancelled radar services squad you told the squawk BFR frequency change approved remember when you're on squawk code you need to be with a frequency and you don't change frequency on your own okay so we told them to cancel radar service to squawk VFR frequency change approved means you can do whatever you want after this obviously stay out of the Bravo we found a hole in the clouds and we descended through the hole to maintain VFR and we stayed low altitude all the way then came the class Delta transition well, class delta transition is simple. Like we said, about 10 miles out, you contact the controlling facility. What's the controlling facility for the delta? It's tower. We established two-way communication with tower. They called us by our call sign. They didn't tell us explicitly to stay out of their airspace. So that's it. I can enter. So we said transition approved. We went ahead and transitioned northwest. And after that, we maintained very low altitude on the coast to stay out of terrain and stay below that layer of clouds, maintain VFR. Then the class Charlie arrival, you can review the class Charlie arrival video. We called about 20 miles out with our position. Uh, altitude uh, ARS information and I mean aircraft type obviously and position altitude ARS information our intention which is full stop uh, we told to squawk uh, give us a discrete squawk code we squawked they didn't tell us to identify and then I haven't heard anything at all so I just called him back a little bit later said verify that uh, identified he, he confirmed that we were identified and that's it I uh, based on the ARS best wind was runway 25 entered long final 25 he transferred me to tower I told him like a nine mile final. He told me, call back at three miles. Remember, I don't have a landing clearance yet. Can't land without a landing clearance. Three mile final, I called back. Got my landing clearance. Landed. I planned, obviously, my exit uh, according to the FBO I'm going to park at. Everything's done uh, ahead. And uh, sorry, here we go. I wanted to exit on Bravo because I'm going to taxi Bravo Charlie to signature. And that's it. So this was like a cocktail of transitions in one uh, video. Uh, Charlie transition, Bravo transition, Delta transition without flight following. And next video, we're going to talk about flight following from the ground, from the air, and how flight following is so powerful and helpful, uh, especially in complex airspace, because all you need to do is pretty much <laughs> avoid the Bravo. You know, uh, at that, you can just uh, cruise through the Charlie airspaces and you got to stay above the Deltas. Uh, if you're going to have to go through a Delta airspace, good to verify. There's a video I'm going to put in the link in the flight following. Uh, uh, when I publish flight following video, I'm going to put an, another link to a very nice pilot edge video regarding this uh, big debate about if you're on flight following, can you just go through a delta without talking to tower? But anyways, that's like out of the scope of this video. Anyways, with that, uh, thank you for watching this transitions video. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time. Take care.